Hello everyone, welcome to J Mac Investing. My name is Jason. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my portfolio weekly updates. I try to do these once a week to tie up all the buys, sales, and dividends that were paid, and then the changes to my uh, portfolio in M1 Finance. So we'll do that today. And also, before we do, I'm approaching 250 subscribers. I'm at, I think, right now 216. So I'm doing a giveaway. So this hat that I got on, I'm giving away one of these when I hit 250 subscribers. I'm going to do a live stream and um, and do a drawing. So I'm going to put up on the screen right now the rules um, on how to participate in that. There you go. So essentially, like one of my social media pages and up upload a picture showing that you have subscribed on YouTube. So yeah, so good luck to you if you for all the entries. And I'm gonna do if you like three, all three of my platforms, then and upload, you'll have three entries. If, you, if you'd like two of them, and you uh, upload, you'll have two entries. So there you go. So uh, increase your chances by liking more than one platform. Um, other than that, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the weekly updates. Be sure to go ahead and scroll down, hit the like button if you like the content. If you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit that alert bell and you'll get notified when I make new videos and drop a comment and let's continue the, the discussion after the video. All right, guys. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, I should say, uh, sometimes I just say guys generically, so don't take offense to that. <laughs> um, all right. So I hope you all are having a great uh, weekend. Um, I have had a pretty lazy day this today. It's a Saturday, so I've just been chilling. Um, and but so here's my portfolio, the main taxable account, and you can see over uh, overall it's up three point eight seven percent, almost five hundred bucks up. Um, but man, I really don't like the. Uh, the uh, what do they call it? Money weighted return average. Um, you know, on this, let's see. You can see I've been paid about a, over a hundred bucks now in dividends, which is awesome. But I really just go by this. If you go to your holdings, if you click on holdings, you can see exactly. See, I'm actually up um, from cost basis wise, up five hundred and thirty one dollars. Um, which I guess, I guess the percentage is about right. It's 3.8 here. So it says 3.87. So it's close enough, but, um, but actually up $531. So, uh, I wish they would just use that, that number here, you know, but whatevs it is what it is. You know, uh, I mean, plenty of people complain about this all the time, the money way did return, but anyway, we'll have to deal with it like i said I, I was actually talking about this with my uh, nephew I actually i have spreadsheets that i track everything by anyway so it's not that big a deal but it just when you when you present it it always is skewed and off and, and doesn't look right all right but so we'll go on the one month i think quarter is the same as all yeah because i've only had an account open since may 20th 2019 on the one month it's up 2.83 percent up 385 dollars on the one week, up $157, uh, 1.1%. So it's a good week. Okay, and so then let's move over to activity and take a look at how it all went down today. I'm sorry, how it all went down this week. Well, you know what, real quick, before we jump into it, I'm gonna show you guys, um, explain something here. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to explain this, um, discuss this and bring it up, I guess, because it's changed. So I started using different thumbnails because I'm using this platform TubeBuddy is the name of it. And it, it you know, it, uh, gives lots of suggestions and has lots of tools that are built right into YouTube. It's a Chrome extension. You can download it if you use a, if you are a content creator. It's really cool and it gives lots of suggestions. So it always crapped on my uh, thumbnails. I mean, and, and you know, looking back, I mean, they are kind of, uh, there's a, kind of a lot going on there and it's kind of hard for things to pop out. 
Um, but I did always try to make the titles real big and the um, put the portfolio amounts in there, but they were still hard to read. The, the IRA um, always, the Roth IRA always got covered up by the times. Uh, and so I'm switching over to this. And what I'm doing is, is com I'm combining the taxable and the Roth into just one number here. So that's what that's all about. I just wanted to bring it up, kind of a little bit of a just channel house housekeeping for those of you who are uh, subscribers. And there's a few of you uh, new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, just uh, so you'll be seeing these, and I'll be trying out some different ones um, coming up. So let me know if ones you like or ones you hate. You know. <laughs> But it, it really, it's just going to be about um, the performance of it. So even if you don't like it, but it performs well, I'm probably going to stick with what's performing well, <laughs> you know, because the YouTube algorithm God is sometimes mean. So you got to try to find a way to beat them and, uh, or make them happy. I don't know him or her, whatever it is. All right. So let's do a date range back this to week started on Monday internet and that'll that'll uh an activity type let's see let's just have trading and dividends bam all right so now we got the weekend view here you got uh monday july 22nd through friday july 26th so on monday let's see let's take a look so i'm going to explain this right up front uh, because i have a, i uh discussed this in previous videos so I had a individual holding that was on the main, um, the main vein of the main portfolio. And it's, it was my cash hedge. It's called, uh, JP. The ticker symbol was JPST and it's JP Morgan ultra short income. Um, you know, I added a couple of new pies of recent uh, energy pie. And then I added the dividend King pie. And then you saw from the dividend, uh dividend achievers two videos that i did if if you, you can go back and check those out on my channel if you're interested um but those are uh, I, I added five dividend achievers as well so i've added quite a few new holdings over the past couple of few weeks um and so i needed to get those funded up so i i have, I have depleted this JPST, you'll see over the course of the week, I s kept selling this off. But you got to understand this, I was holding this just as my cash. And I, and I know the, the market, I, I was talking about holding it for when the market, uh, if the market has a big pullback. You know what? We don't ever know when that's going to happen. I don't ever know. I don't know when that's going to happen. We could go on a run still for another two years. Maybe have a couple of 5% pullbacks or something. Um, and in, in, those, in that case, I'll find a way to get more income to put into the market if we pull back. But so, yeah, so here we go. So with that, so I sold $50 of $50.22 of JPST and I deposit, um, was depositing $50 Monday through Thursday. So that comes to $50 of JPS, $50.22 of JPST and $50 was $122, $100.22 and I bought the these were part of the dividend kings pie so that's just um you know just m1 buying it on my percentage of allocations and i target bought crown castle intel so some of my strategy of recent with like these two these weren't really down these are just really 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 underweight in a sec in a pie that's overweight so they'll never hardly get funded. Um, so I want, I want to get, so what I'm basically what I'm saying is that I have quite a few holdings that aren't even at one share and I'm going to strategically throw money at ones at, at a few companies, even if they're up, you know, I'm going to throw some money at some of these companies to get, I want every holding in my uh, portfolio to have at least one share, even if it's a $300 stock, I'm trying to get everything up to at least have one share and have some real skin in the game you know what i mean so i'll check out i'll take a look at my holdings and i'll show you what i'm talking about later um but then and also i bought gpc so i bought gpc abv mp uh medical properties i bought those because they were down 
these two because I'm trying to get a full position. Crown Castle was down. And so that's, yeah, that's how Monday sh uh, shook out. And then these others, the, the energy ones are in my energy pie that was underweight. Okay. And then on the 23rd, which is Tuesday, you'll see. See, so I sold another $150 worth of my cash hedge in JPST and deposited another $50. So that totals out to be two hundred dollars. Went that I uh, got deployed um, on Tuesday, and so I bought forty. This is when I added, started the position of the five dividend achievers. So I added Aflac, um, uh, Target bought Johnson and Johnson. All of these up until Arbor were uh, in the energy or dividend king pie. Arbor Realty is down, uh, holding this down in my portfolio. So I uh, bought that. They're only like $12 a share. So that's a little over a share I bought there. This is enter, entering and into a new position into, I discussed it um, in a couple videos ago, South Side Bank Shares. So ticker symbol SBSI. I bought a whole share of that one. EPR Properties is down. So I bought $15 worth of it. Parker Hannafin is in the dividend king pie. Fastenal is a new position. So I bought one share of a uh, little over one share of Fastenal. And Kroger is also a position that is down. So I bought $10 worth of that. So that's how Tuesday, July 23rd, shook out. On Wednesday, I sold a big old chunk of JPST, $271. Entered into um, the other dividend achievers position that I entered was Eversource Energy. Talked about that one in my uh, blue chip utility stock video, buying the blue chips. So that's actually, I think two shares. No, I don't know. Let's look. One share. Cause the yeah, share price is 76 bucks. So I bought one share. Let me open it back up. One share of it. I bought Target bought GPC. Another bought just a little bit more than one share of Arbor again, continuing to buy dividend kings and energy. A target bought Pepsi. This was a position that was just below one share. So now I have a full share of Pepsi. Opened a position in Ryder. Bought just a little over one share. Uh, and Albemarle, it's a lithium company, lithium mining company and processing. Um, so they were down, they're already in my portfolio and they were down a little bit. So I bought $10 worth of it and Abby obviously has been, you know, everyone, uh, just a dividend investors dream because of its drop in price. So bought some of it, 15 more dollars of it. And that took care of, um, Tuesday on Wednesday. No, no, no. that was Wednesday on Thursday. I bought some more, but before we. Before we move into it, this was the first dividend of the week. So it's been a slow couple weeks of dividends. I got lots of dividends paid last Monday, but I just, it was just last Monday, nothing else the rest of the week. And this week, the only dividend paid was 62 cent from Disney. Um, and I know, you know, the beginning of the month that always, it seems like you get paid a little more and especially with all the monthly payers. So that's coming up in a couple of days. So next week, I think I'm gonna have a, a really active dividend paying week, but Let's look at what I bought. Sold, I think this was the end of JPST. Sold the last bit of it and bought uh, this, I think, filled out and, and made it where I had a whole share of Aflac by buying that. I bought Target, bought Albemarle. And then, and now it's starting to buy just uh, percentages of allocations that are down. So as I continue to invest now, once the dividend king pie and the energy pie are uh, funded then and that's what how it started happening by this day on Thursday because now you got the financial pie which is a little little bit uh, underweight it started getting some capital I didn't uh, target buy any of these these were all just you know percentages in my M1 portfolio that were you know that needed funding so yeah so that takes care of Thursday and here we go Last day of the week on Friday, I told you I don't normally 
make it a positive. I made an exception this week, and I just see JPST was sold. I sold all JPST. This was just straight another just straight a hundred dollar deposit, and so that went just straight on allocations. I don't think I target bought. Well, I, so I target bought uh, ticker symbol MO Altria Group on Friday. Everything else was just um, percentages of allocations being purchased by M1. And so that wraps that up. I'll show you now what I was discussing, saying I want everyone to have one share. So you got, go down the list. You start getting out here. You got most of these with one share. And you hit here, Cincinnati Financial, 0.83 of a share, Discover. And uh, so right on down. So like I said, a lot of these are a little higher uh, dollar um, stocks. Like this is a 200, next air energy is over 200 bucks. McDonald's is almost 200 so uh, but at any rate I'm still gonna fill these uh, positions out so I have one share at least one share of everything um, you can see it got quite a few I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four positions that don't have a full share yet so I'll be working on those in the coming weeks um and then you know my portfolio is going to start kicking some butt and start uh, paying some dividends and i'm gonna start re reinvesting dividends uh, i'm gonna do a follow-up video soon on the my my annual goals as you know we cross over and i think i actually think it's been two or three months since i did that video i'm gonna follow up on that trying to hit those target goals of mine and uh you know so well on our way, man. So that's pretty much the week, how it all went down this week. I hope you guys enjoy these updates. Please uh, drop a comment. Um, if you're new to the channel and haven't, haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the alert bell, and uh, that'll get you notified when new videos come out. Um, yeah, I guess one more announcement. I'm going uh, to be in a live stream tomorrow night or Thursday night with uh, a pretty, pretty decent-sized channel. Um, so when I get more details, uh, I'll, I'll share that in the, probably the next video I make. Um, and then also I'm going to be sharing my traditional IRA that I have in fidelity. I'm going to be doing that because I'm going to start just, as I start sharing my monthly dividends paid and my goals, um, you can see that, uh, that portfolio is in the goals and then. And it's part of um, the, you know, the monthly dividends paid. So I'm going to share it anyway. I was trying to get a video to have 50 likes before I did it. But I just said, you know what, it's time. So that will be a video soon of me doing an unveil of my traditional IRA, which none of you have ever seen. So, uh, so yeah. So if you stayed that long, you got a little teaser for that. So I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Until next time, deuces.